Okay, Shalom Chevra. We are going to be starting a series of videos, advanced videos in Halacha, because we know that Ein Loy La Kodesh Bochu and Ladaud Amush Al Halacha Bilvad. Hashem said, I made a place where you could find me in this world, and it's called Halacha. It's called Jewish law. It's the crystallization of Hashem's will in the world. And therefore, there's going to be an advanced program going through essentially all of Halacha. And we're going to be working from the Kitz of Shulchan Aruch, going through all of Halacha together. And we're going to start Aleph in the Kitz of Shulchan Aruch, and people could follow along, and this will be a program for them to go through all of halacha in a easy, fast, shorthand form. They're going to be short videos, so here we begin. Dene Ashkamas Ha'odam Baboiker, Aleph, halacha number one. Shavisi Hashem Leneg Ditomid, King David says, I've placed Hashem before me always. Shavisi Hashem means, on a simple level, the tzaddikim explain, it's like I put a yud and a hay and a vav and a hay under my glasses and I walk around and I see the world through neo-matrix eyes. Everything is yud ke vav ke everywhere. Everything is the letters of Hashem, specifically His name. Yud ke vav ke means the way that Hashem deals with the world through compassion. I see that Hashem is compassionate all the time, even when things that are challenging are happening. Shavisi Hashem l'negdi tomid, the Baal Shem Tov said, means that Shivisi is Shavia, means equal, that everything I see is equal. Difficult times, easier times, the ups and the downs, it's all from you, Hashem. Hu klal godl ba Torah. This is a very big concept in the Torah. Milas at Tzadikim. If you want to be on the level of the Tzadikim, the great and mighty righteous ones, we have to start living with the reality that Hashem is with us all the time. All the time. Asher holchem lifnei alekim, the tzaddikim, that they're always walking with God. They're always going with Hashem their whole life. Ki ein yeshiva sa'odim tenuwa sovah sokov ahu levadei Because everyone knows that the way that you act in your house, when you're by yourself, chilling on the couch, put your feet up, you know, Hamish, it's very different. It's very different than when you're sitting in front of a great king, your boss. You're going to act the same with your boss. You're going to be in your, in your chair like this, in your lazy boy at the, at the meeting. No. With your boss, you have to be, have a certain dignity. You act in a certain way of respect. Why do you act differently? In one way in your house and one way in front of your boss. Because you know that your boss is a dignified person. You know that I have to act in a certain elevated way. So too, you don't act in the same way and speak in the same way that you do with the people in your household. You speak with them, you run your mouth a little bit, you, you know, have certain banter and humor between your household members. In the same way that you would speak in front of a great king in front of a very well-respected person. You speak in front of a well-respected person in a different way than you speak to, you know, your sister and your, and your siblings. You're more, you know, loose and relaxed with your siblings. Why? Because when you're with a great person, you make sure that your words are fitting and proper and you're thinking about what to say. You don't want to just say things that you're not going to, maybe you regret. You want to be careful. You go to an interview. You don't start, uh, you know, telling the, 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 you go for a shidduch interview. You don't start telling your maybe prospective father-in-law, you know, all these uh, very, you know, things that you might say, you know, with, with the boys. You know, it's, your, it's maybe your father-in-law. You got to be a little bit more respectful. Treat him a little bit, you know, to be careful. And look at what the Rebbe says. Kol shekin, all the more so. If you change the way that you act in front of your prospective father-in-law, in front of a king, all the more so. 
When a person should place upon his heart that the great king, the king of all kings, that Hashem's glory fills the whole world. That Hashem is everywhere. He's right here. He's with us right now. He's watching you and I right now. He's thinking about us. He's with us. And He's watching us. And therefore, if I be careful in front of someone that I respect, because, you know, I respect them, certainly I should be careful with Hashem. You know, a person acts one way in his house. Imagine your Rebbe comes into your house, into the dorms. Oh, Rabbi, so sorry. I mean, I mean like, uh, you know, let me turn off the rap music or something. Why? What, just because I'm here? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, when you're not here, it's maybe okay. But when you're here, okay, we don't want to, you know, we, we, we don't want to put that music on. But is Hashem not there? Hashem's not there. Hashem's right there. He's listening. He's right there. So it's funny. We seem to think like, oh, Hashem, you're always here. You're always here. You're here when I put on my shoes. I got to put my left shoe on. My right shoe, my left shoe. Tie my left shoe. Tie my right shoe. You know, in the shower also, we're going to learn this. You're supposed to wash your head first and your right arm and your left arm. Yeah. So a person thinks, oh my goodness, Hashem, like, what's up with you? I'm in the shower here. Give me some space. I don't get it. Hashem says, anyways, you're going to take a shower. Anyways, you're going to put on your shoes. Let me give you an opportunity to connect to me all the time. Because I love you. I care about you. I'm always here. I'm always here for the relationship. So I can't get away from you, Hashem, because you love me. You want this relationship. But a person thinks that I could somehow go and hide from Hashem. A person's going to go into hiding places and say, you know, let me try and hide from Hashem. Hashem says, you don't think I'm, I can see you there? Let me, let, me just, let me just go do that thing in the corner. Then my, my, you know, nobody's looking. I'll go with, you know, close the door. My parents went out for the night. Let me go, house party. But Hashem's not there. Hashem's mom is there. Hashem says, Do I not fill the heavens and the earth? I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. I love you. Immediately a person will feel, Wow, Hashem, you're here. It's very, it's very humbling. You're right here. It's going to be a bit of an awe, a bit of a feeling of maybe even embarrassment. When your Rebbe comes in and you're, you're in your room and you're listening to that thing, you're not afraid that, that the Rebbe is going to do something not nice to you. You just feel a little bit embarrassed that he saw me, like, you know, maybe looking at something I shouldn't have been looking at or playing some music. I'm a little bit embarrassed from that. So when I think, Hashem, you're everywhere. And, and I just, I don't want to, to create any, any challenge in the relationship because you love me and you're here. It creates a whole new perspective of Shavisi Hashem the Negdi Tamid. You love us. You want that relationship. You want that. Hashem, you're thinking about me all the time. You're always thinking about me. Let's think about Hashem also. Amen to Amen.